Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. So you've bought yourself a Brompton. You've got yourself a Garmin or a Wahoo or a Hammerhead or some kind of uh, computer that you want to mount onto your handlebars of your Brompton because you want to record your ride so you can put it on Strava so everyone can give you kudos and say what a great person you are because you did a nine mile commute or something like that. But you think, well, how do I mount my computer onto my Brompton? Well, folks, here we have the solution. This little um, gizmo, widget, uh, disjit, uh, wismo, whatever you call it. This little item here is what you need. And this attaches to your stem bolt. And if you've seen one of my recent videos, you will know that I've recently purchased a titanium stem bolt, yes. Now this is not made of titanium. Uh, this is made of plastic and it may well be 3D printed. I'm not sure, it may be 2D printed, but I have a feeling if it's 2D printed, it would be flat. Whereas if it's 3D printed, it's uh, uh, not flat and it has depth to it. You see, it has depth. If it was 4D printed, by the way, it would have time as well. And in that this was nothing before it was made and now it is everything, you could say that it is in a sense uh, 4D printed, but that takes us into the realm of philosophy, which is more than this video can probably stand. So you want to see how this is attached to the stem bolt, don't you? It's complicated, but I hope I can manage it. So let's have a look, shall we? Okay, well, the first thing we need is a Brompton, and in the fine tradition of Blue Peter, here is a Brompton that I prepared earlier. And then we want to get up close and personal with the stem bolt, remember? It is a titanium stem bolt, so let's do that. Okay, here we are, up close and personal with the stem bolt, and my finger is pointing there, and I'm touching, yes, I'm touching the cool titanium. Uh, this particular contraption here, by the way, which you may see, and which I may do a separate video about, uh, is for the attachment of a GoPro or a camera, but this is not what this video is about. This video is about attaching this particular Wahoo mount, because I use a Wahoo, into this gap here where the stem bolt attaches. So let's get ourselves an Allen key so we can undo the stem bolt. Okay, I'm undoing the stem bolt with this rather tasty silker um, Allen key set. And if you're thinking it's rather loose and suspiciously loose, in fact, the reason for that is because I loosened it earlier in preparation for this video, a la Blue Peter. And if you want to see the titanium stem bolt there, you can see it in action. So now we're going to put the mount, I need to, I need to put this down somewhere, then you haven't meant to put it, and I'll chuck it on that chair there. So, now there is a, a kind of plastic washer here, I don't know if you can see this, this is probably 4D printed as well. I'm not quite sure where this goes, so I'm going to put the stem bolt in and then I'm going to start tightening it up. And I can't actually see, I know, I should put it, can I put it? There. Not sure if that fits actually. Yeah. So I'm going to assume that that washer is not needed. So I put the Wahoo mount in and now I'm doing up the titanium bolt. Now when I put this bolt in, somebody commented on the video and said, Ah, oh, you're not using any grease. So you're obviously trying to save a bit of weight. So Whoever said that, Mr. Mr. Witty, or Mrs. Witty, not Chris Witty, the Chief Medical Officer, but somebody being witty in a comment on one of my videos, I'm going to get some grease, just to show you. Okay, here is my trusty grease gun. Quite impressive. It's okay there, isn't it? Where is that lock coming out? Come on. I'm going to put the grease on this titanium bolt there and then I'm going to put the bolt back in and I'm going to 
tighten it up, as you can see. And now I shall tighten it up with the silica tool, like so. And now I'm going to get a torque wrench and here is my torque wrench and I'm going to set it to 16 newton meters. If you can see that, I'm sure I can. Excellent. 16 newton meters is quite a lot. Um, newton meters instead is named after uh, Isaac. Newton, the great uh, English uh, scientist and uh, apple grower, um, and Newton meters was the number of meters that Isaac Newton was able to run. So if he'd had a heavy lunch, for example, and he could only run uh, two meters, then that was called two Newton meters. But if he was uh, feeling fit and could run like the wind, uh, then people said he could do 16 newton meters, and that was really fast and quite hard as well. So anyway, I'm going to put this in there, and if you know how a torque wrench works, you tighten it up until it gives a telltale click like that, and there it is. We are at 16 newton meters. Now you want to see whether the wahoo actually fits on there, so let's just go and get the wahoo, shall we? Here is my trusty Wahoo element roam. There is actually a video about uh, the kind of unboxing and review of the... Oh, that's a bit tight. Nope, I shall use the element bolt instead, which is a smaller, smaller element here. I could just move this along and I'll probably do that separately, but this is just to show you whether this actually works. And there it is. It works. And there is the Wahoo element bolt attached to the 3D printed uh, stem mount for the Brompton P-Line. So, hope you've enjoyed that exciting video, hope you've learned something, and see you next time.